a um, preventative care that you can take that will help you not only stay healthy, but also help deter the contraction of certain uh, STDs and things of that. Uh, I just want to say this, add this, just because you find a partner that's HIV positive, that don't necessarily mean you're at higher risk. You just have to take the proper precautions. Um, Roseland, Lansing, Cal City, Cal Park, Riverdale, and Pullman all had a um, 130% increase in syphilis infections in um, heterosexual black females from 12,000 in 2019 to 35,000 in um, uh, 2021. I will say statistically, we do not have any proof that STIs are on the rise because of PrEP. What So as we know, um, one of the uh, main things we hear online is I'm on prep. What does that mean? I have no idea. School me. So Connie, you know what that means? It, it, like, oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I just put some juice in my cup. What's the <coughs> Sorry, let me oil these gears. Now you good? Now you good, Sakani? You good? You good, Sakani? What you People gotta do? People say that they're on prep. There's a there's a um, preventative care that you can take that will help you not only stay healthy but also help deter the contraction of certain uh, STDs and things of that nature. Um, there are different forms of prep like you can take um like i don't know of like multiple forms <laughs> like i know that there are different types though like some of them i believe there's a shot now mm -hmm. that that's you can get the shot that's what i take the shot um some people enjoy taking the the routine of taking like the pill or um things like that there's also a lot of different care that you can get from um, what is it? Hang on. Okay. Depending on the um, depending on you know your journey in life, you can also like I, you know I'm rambling. I'm rambling. No, no, no. Yeah, you're good. No, you, you, you're fine. So, so um, Moody, you want to add on that, or do you? Want... Yeah. Um, my last partner was uh positive, so I had to get on prep. Uh, I just want to say this, add this, just because you find a partner that's HIV positive, that don't necessarily mean you're at high risk. You just have to take the proper precautions. And we used to have amazing sex. Yeah, I was on prep for the longest. I, um, we've been broke up a little over eight months now, but like I say, I was on it for a little while. I was getting a shot because I actually went to his doctor uh, the last time and they tested him. There's like, yeah, he's really, because when we first got together, he didn't believe I wasn't positive because I wasn't afraid of him. He had the stigma of, well, you know, he must be positive too because he's so eager to want to knock me down. And it was, just, I was like, nah, I'm educated about it. I'm not afraid of you fine as fuck. I do want them cheeks. So he was like, uh, you got to be yeah. And I'm like, nah, I'm not. So he was like, well, come with me to my doctor. I'm going to see. So I was like, let's go get tested together. Mm -hmm. Well, I went to his doctor to get tested. His doctor was like, he's really negative. Like, he wouldn't really read the results. He was like, yeah, we can put you on prep or whatever like that. See, so I have to do the test and then wait the two weeks. Okay, fine, the two weeks. And then you kick in and see, because we can have sex, consensual well, sex, until after two weeks of me going back to check to see if it's in my system. Once it was that, it was on. I was hitting that ass like a Mack truck. So, yeah, it was okay. Over. Yup, I had that bitch in there crying. He was crying. I was making love to that poor nine. I am not scared of no positive pussy. I'm sorry. You too fine out to get knocked down. And I'm going to- I'm crying right now. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Um, hey, Versa, how you doing? 
What's going on? Not to, now you know, not to get too graphic, but like at the end of the day, like my old my ex boyfriend was crying because I made love. Like I really, he knew I wasn't really afraid of him, so he yeah. was like, you know, at the end of the day, why do you want me? The insecurities kicked in. I think that's why we're not together now because he really, really thought he wasn't worthy of me being. Man, I was his protector when he needed me. When I he told me, when I told him, don't worry about it. He knew for one thing, if Marty told me don't worry about it, I ain't got to worry about it. But you know, sometimes self-trauma bring forth self-sabotage. And that's just what he did. So that's what it was. But let me tell y'all something. For the record, that pause puss be some good ass puss, period. Ooh. And I'm done. And Ooh. Okay. Oh my God. Does anybody else uh, want to add on that before I versatile you want to add in? What I'm, I came in on the butt end of what uh, Madi was saying and what the topic. You always was. come in here being nasty, right? talking about butts. So, so the the topic is uh, basically, um, what does it mean when you hear someone say they're on prep? What does that mean for you, basically? Um, you well, it means you... it means a whole lot for me because I work in HIV and STI education. Um, so it just means a whole lot uh, for me, but also it means like on our apps, right? It means, oh, uh, it means <laughs> we see it everywhere. I'm on prep. Okay, well, what about gonorrhea and syphilis and herpes Perfect. and HPV and trick and yeast infections because dudes can get yeast infections too um what about all that other shit oh yes we can um you know so I mean you sitting here saying you on prep okay what the hell does that mean it's great that you're protected against HIV but right. what about we? it seems as if it's a sense of entitlement or invincibility within the LGBTQ plus community right especially right. amongst um especially amongst gay men especially amongst gay black men um or um uh, same gender loving black men um especially if you're doing the bathhouse thing or you're doing the cruising thing or you're on fetlife.com you know um so i think it's great that people are on it whether it be the injectable or travada or discovi but like Please consider the other things that come along with it if you're having too much unprotected sex. Uh, especially since um especially since uh syphilis is on the rise at 70% across the country and 700% across the southwest and south regions of the United you States. Have, at you, have a you better come in here with them numbers and them and them graphs and them receipts. That's what I like to see so be um Yeah, Houston has an outbreak so out this world. Houston has a bad syphilis outbreak, like seriously, serious. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yes, they have a, um, in 2016, they had 16 cases of syphilis in 2019. I think they had like 254 cases of syphilis. And in 2021, they had 676 cases of syphilis. Oh, oh wow. Wow. That so a 54% increase and you, it's ridiculous. So I know. So I know this is based on our own opinions and stuff, and this is not factual, but do you think that PrEP plays a part into the rise into the other STIs? Of course. Mm, um, uh, well, I'll let, uh, I'll let Madi go first since they attempted to respond first and I interrupted them. No, that's okay. I apologize, and I'm I, I interrupt you actually. But there is, uh, I'm gonna tell you like this. I've talked to other brothers who's on prep like me, uh, like as if I now that I'm single, I haven't had any intercourse. But I know even though I don't know, let's say if I do finally get with somebody else, bro, I'm putting a condom on. Cause first of all, even though I'm on my prep, that don't make me invincible to other things. Now with my ex, I knew what he did because some of fact we lived together. We lived together for years. So if I wanted to go ahead on a hop in that monkey, I was going to hop in that monkey, period. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew where it was going. I knew what he was doing. And that's what I knew, I, you know, he was coming home to me. So I trusted him with that. Now, if you, and if I caught another STD or STI, you know what I'm saying? I know he was out there cheating, but I know he wasn't. But there's a sense of entitlement of, well, I'm on prep. If, it, if I just got to take a shot for it, I'll just do that. I'll just take a shot for it. And that's it. Nah, bro. You need to still protect yourself and get yourself together. 
So it's a sense of entitlement to people who think they're on Victoria, Victor, because I was on Victoria, and they think it's a sense of entitlement, like you're invincible now. I have a friend right now that's in Atlanta that's positive, and you know he was messing with somebody that was on. Yeah, but my friend, he be in bath houses. You know what I'm saying? He be in all other type of stuff. So just because you on my friend, you jumping on my friend, he on you on prep. You don't know what's coming from that bath house. Right. So I take that all into play. A lot of people really, really think that it's the end all shot or pill. It's not. There's other STIs and STDs you can catch that you still can't get rid of. Right. Um. So uh, your gay best friend, the reason why I pulled you up here because the comment too that you made, but I also feel like you can add a good perspective too. Um, but the comment that you made, you got to pay attention to the source, child. So, so not, I just want everybody out there to be aware. You can't always see these types of STIs or S. Nope. These, a person can look normal and, and, and could be transmitting all these different diseases and uh, stuff like that. So it, so looking at it, you, you can't always tell. What, um, so, Perfect. um, host, what was your, um, I forget. I was looking at some shit that I got to do for my new job at Howard Brown. Um, uh, what was the question you asked the entire panel that M Madi was just answering? Um, does the prep, nah, uh, now that you're on prep, does it make it seem like, is it, oh, is the STIs and STDs on the rise? And oh, yeah, yeah. Because, because, of, of, because prep. of prep is a, a cure all for STIs and HIV? Um, well, I will say statistically, we mm -hmm. do not have any proof that STIs are on the rise because of PrEP. What we're seeing is that people are coming back and are only having one STI or no STIs. So they're literally listening to us and using okay. condoms while on PrEP. However, Gonorrhea is on the rise by 5%, chlamydia is on the rise by 4%, syphilis on the rise by 70%. Um, is this because of PrEP? I don't necessarily think so, but it could very well be a combination of PrEP and um, the pandemic. Because during the pandemic, um, if you live in Chicago and you live in the hundreds, um, this may not affect you if you're a same gender loving man, um, but it could very affect, very well affect you if you mess around with DL or bisexual folks, right? Um, Roseland, Lansing, Cal City, Cal Park, Riverdale, and Pullman all had a um, 130% increase in syphilis infections in um, heterosexual black females from 12,000 in 2019 to 35,000 in um, uh, 2021. So it could just be a combination of, I need some cuddle time during the pandemic and prep. Okay. You know, oh, so, okay. Can I ask you a question? Okay. Are, are these, are, are you saying, if, if I'm not here, if I'm hearing clear, clearly, that these outbreaks of epidemic, well, outrises of STIs and STDs are from bisexual men or DL men who are uh, have intercourse with heterosexual females? No, I was saying, the I was saying that um, 